Yeah. Can you believe this is happening in the 21st century? I'm asking him, I'm asking him if he can establish that this verse, yeah, you need to bye bye because otherwise you'll be, we need to play, play lullaby for you. I asked a very specific question. The very specific, the very specific, excuse me, my dear green man, you need to move on. We're talking about intelligent stuff here. This is not a place for you, sir. No. I asked two specific questions to the gentleman. Question number one, how can you use Surah for R80 to explain, to establish that this is in reference to a person called Muhammad who Muslims consider today to be prophet? Any reference? Let me read to you the verse again. Whoever obeys the messenger, it uses the term messenger. Who is this messenger? Jesus was a Jew. Is this Yahoo messenger? Is this MSN messenger? Who is this messenger? You need to clarify. Just because the word messenger is used, if you think this is talking about Muhammad, I can only tell you, sir, if you were to sit. If you were to sit in an exam where I give the question paper and I evaluate, you will be getting not a small zero, but a huge zero. You deserve a massive zero. You, sir, or is there any other Muslim who can establish how Surah 4, Ayah 80 is in reference to a person called Muhammad that you consider to be a prophet? Anyone? He's talking about women in the Holy Silence. Quran. Silence! You know, in his Bible it says, Silence! Do not allow Torah to teach and Bible and put into the gentleman here put into the Quran. Silent. The gentleman here, the gentleman here, if he has any respect to his religion, when I am showing his religion, he could clarify and retain the honor that is due to his religion. Clearly, he does not have any respect for his religion. Surah 4, Ayah 80. Hello, sir. You yourself, sir. You seem to be an intelligent. Why did you turn around? Just because I use the word intelligent, you have to turn around. Don't. Please don't be that humble, sir. Please come here. Surah 4, Ayah 80. How is this about Muhammad? Please clarify. Because the savior of Islam, Sam Dawa, has run away now. Run away. He cannot face scrutiny. He has run away. You, sir, are you a Muslim, sir? No, Okay, not. Are you a Muslim, man? Please come here. How many books in your Bible? I'm going to start from the. I believe. He said you're lying. Why you don't know to be a liar? My dear friends. In other words, excuse me, sir. In other words, please capture these people. Nathan, you need to capture this gentleman. For all those who were not sure what was happening earlier, when you hear Muslims cry out like that, it means someone asked a question and they did not have an answer. That is when they cry out. That is when they cry out like that. Did you hear what I said? So why don't you talk to us? When I ask, hey, how many books in your when book? a Muslim has been asked a very important I question, and when they do the not Bible? have an answer, they how begin shouting, Takbir, Allah Akbar, and all sorts how of other nonsenses. And so, if you hear any of that, it means Muslims were desperate because they did not have an answer to a legitimate question 
Ask yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, read that, read that. this Muslim cannot help. He's doing this. He is a professional, professionally brainwashed. Brainwashed. This man. I am British. How dare you call this man? This man confused to the second degree. He's a Hindu guy. You sir. Are you a Muslim, sir? Are you a Muslim, sir? You seem to be a bit afraid right now. You must be a Muslim. You are Muslim? All right. Allah. To all those, Allah to all those Muslims. Allah Hello, sir. Allah. Hello, sir. Allah. You have a fancy clothing there. Please come here. You must know plenty of things about Islam. You spoke to me before. Does that mean you can't answer a question right now? Sir, are you a sheikh of some sort? Are you a milkshake of some sort? Are you a milkshake of some sort, sir? You know, normal Muslims, like this gentleman, when I ask questions, they, they, the standard... Well, please come here, sir. Please come here. Are you a sheikh of some sort? Are you a bit afraid also? Look at your sheikh. Allah Look at your shaykh. This is Allah. When I speak to people who don't know much about the Quran, their standard getaway clauses, we don't know much. But in reality, when even people like him show up with their fancy clothing, which apparently means they need to know more about Islam, the answer is pretty much the same. They too run away. Run away because none of them have answers to questions that we ask. Hello, sir. Do you know about Islam, sir? Excuse me, sir. Are you? Yes, sir. We believe in one God. Who is the we? Are you Muslim? Yes, I am. Okay, please. This book, it is not we, our Muslim Quran. This is fake Quran. This is number one. Yeah, you hold it. The second thing, why not talk about you, God? What you believe? Why is this the fake Quran? What you believe? Why is this the fake Quran? The gentleman here thinks the gentleman thinks Islamic Dawa Center International publication is fake Quran. Is there any other Muslim who agrees with this? Islamic Dawa Center International. Ex I, I think you are a bit confused. You just come here. I hear one person speaking in singular. Yeah. It is not we. It is I. Please say I if you are talking Muslim. only on your behalf. You don't have God. The Muslim you here uses one of a few standard getaway closest. This is you God. Hello, my dear friend. My dear friend. You know one one standard liar. I am Messiah. You are liar. I am Messiah. I don't know who you are. All that I can say I is you are a bit God. of a nuisance right now You're idiot. in my ears. You're idiot. That's You're the only thing I can confirm liar, right now. Liar, liar, liar. Please explain. Come here. My dear friends, especially those who are Muslims, let me make this point extremely clear. I believe in God. I believe in one God. The God Yehovah, Yahweh. The God who showed up as a savior, Yeshua. Jesus. Jesus who saves. I believe in him. I read about him and I understand him to be historically true, verifiable. And him I follow. And so I know today, if I pass away even at this very moment, I know for a fact that I will enter hell. into glory you will go to hell. Enter into glory to be with my Lord Jesus Christ. I know this for sure. But the fact of the matter is, most Muslims, if not all Muslims, walk around not having a clue. This is very important. My dear friend, on the day of judgment, you can't stand in front of God and say, well, I'm as clueless as ever. And get away from the judgment. You can't. You need to face the judgment. Judgment will be very rigorous. And that is why... Okay. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. How long have you been a Muslim, sir? Yesterday. Are you a Muslim, my dear young man? Please come here. Please help us out.
the others seem to be struggling to think you you i think you can you can do you can do a little bit of thinking for us please come here For all non-Muslims, like did you register this point carefully in your mind? We if you see a chorus from Muslims of great. any sort, it means they are becoming are desperate. Either they have been asked a question for which they haven't got an answer, or they are facing a serious challenge and they do not want someone to face up to that challenge. That's what it means. Is there you, sir? You please come here. Please come here. No, no, please come here. Use, use logic all day long. We love logic. I am a Christian. I like logic. Please come here. Demonstrate. Please come here. Please. Please come here and demonstrate, sir. Please come here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? How long have you been Muslim, sir? <laughs> Why is it that every Muslim is scared at the park? Why is that the case? What's that? Can I walk? What is this then? Can we hold this copy? Okay, please come here. So the lady here and the gentleman here are clearly saying, my dear Muslim friends and the Western world of only English speaking Muslims, any publication of Islamic Dawa Center International is fake. You must avoid it as a plague. What is this? Now, what did the lady say earlier? Do you think this is the Quran? Why should I give this to you? Why should I give this to you? Hello, sir. Please come here, sir. Okay, okay. So let me ask you a question, sir. Christian and Jews robbed and killed every Muslim country. Muslim have been destroyed. And then he woke up. And then he woke up. Look what happened to Iraq. Look what happened to Syria. My challenge today, sir. Look what happened to Libya. Look what happened to Yemen. Look what happened to Pakistan. What happened to Bangladesh? Just give me one minute, sir. I'm waiting for this. What happened to Sudan? What happened to Bosnia? Question. Question. Every Muslim. My challenge. My challenge is. You know, have not Quran is an early document of Islam. How early because document. Because My challenge to you is, you see the Quran, you cannot even understand who Muhammad was because you as a person in Islam. history. So not, that is a challenge to you, sir. Don't say, sir, there are some other people who can use the brains. No, no, some other people's brains are working. If yours is not working, please shut down. Stay quiet. You just you jealous from the Islam. I'm terribly I'm jealous. Just give me we have one God. Have my kids. Okay, question. Can you use the Quran to understand that Muhammad had conflict with pagan, Meccan, Arabs? Uh, look, look what, what, do you, what do you want to get to the point? It's a very specific question. Can you use the Quran to establish that Muhammad had a conflict with pagan Meccan Arabs? Did anyone claim that this is a history book? Did anyone claim that this is a history book? Did anyone say this is a history book? You mentioned any, like you Did I say this is a history book? To the point, man. Come on, I have we are this is history yeah. book. Oh, if you are too busy, sir, please yeah. move on. No, My point is very two. simple. Two. Did I say that this is a history book? No, I did not. I asked you a simple question. How much of Muhammad? This is question number two. Because clearly the previous question went 
above his head like that. So let me ask another question. How much information, how much can you get to know about the person called Muhammad using this book? Read the Quran and you would know. Read it. Read the Quran. Using this book, how can you establish that this book talks about only one prophet? Do you hear my challenge? Does this book talk? Now I'm talking about contemporaneous to this book. Of course, it talks about previous guys. I'm not talking about that. In terms of the source of this book, you claim it's only one guy, namely Muhammad. Can you use the Quran to demonstrate that? Do you, did you understand my question? None of them can. None of them can. This fake. Read the Quran and you can't read it in India. Mouse. Please. Now your children have gone. Please come here. Listen, it's not history book. It's not history book. Answering a question which I never asked. You got the mouse. I just, I just told you. How can you? Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. How do you know you follow Islam of the Quran? How do you know it? By heart. I believe. By How? Establish. Islam of the the Islam that you follow. How much of it can you establish through the Quran? Please come here. Can I establish? Excuse me, I'm speaking to him, sir. But like How? I'm asking a question to everyone. Okay. Okay, can we establish? You know. I want sensible facts from you. If you cannot give sensible facts, I'm going to move on. We follow one God. How much of the Quran? We believe in Muhammad and Jesus. And Good. Jesus so you believe? Wait a second. Did you hear what he said? And we follow. Did you hear what he said? He believes in a person called Muhammad. It is fundamental to Islam. What is fundamental to Islam should come from here, shouldn't it? Yeah. So thank you. Yes. You know what happened? By, by laughing, by laughing, by laughing. Did you know? Did you know what happened? He said a few things and he's happy. Typical Muslim. I ask questions. Answer. Engage. Engage with the questions that I ask. Not your stories that you no one wants to know. Question again. The gentleman is listening. Learn to listen right now. With Learn to listen at least right now, please. Fundamental to Islam. You follow this book. Fundamental to Islam. This book tell us to believe in one God. We follow one God. Tell us to pray five times a day. We pray five times a day. It says follow one God. It says go back. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. That's it says. Is this in the Quran? Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. We follow, we pray five times a day. Good. Us Please come here. Fast, I am here. It's telling us to fast Ramadan. We fast Ramadan. We follow this book. I mean, that was your point. Okay. <laughs> He's very happy. How many of you, how many of you here are perfectly content with only the three points that he mentioned to be precise in defining Islam? One God, fast, a pray five times a day and fast for a month. Does that define Islam? Yes. One messenger, very important. Did you hear him? Did you hear him, sir? One messenger. One final messenger. One final messenger. Prove to me from the Quran that during the Quranic times that there was only one messenger. Please come here. Ah, laughing. No. Did you hear my question again? Uh, Sorry, did you hear my question? Uh, the challenge is simple. Islam, fundamental to Islam, is that there is one final messenger. Can you use the Quran to establish that there was only one messenger behind this book? He cannot. Can you? Stammering, stumbling. What's your point? What do you mean? What is the point? Are you even joking? Yes, I am. Did you hear my point? Please come here. One messenger, final. Can you establish that from the Quran? Quran talks about all sorts of messengers. All sorts. No one, I dare, no one can establish that the, 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 the prophet who is being spoken about during the Quranic times is only one guy. No one can do that. This is an open challenge. 
Please come face here. Please come here. There are two prayers in Islam. Please come here. There are two prayers. Please come here. Not five prayers. Okay. God never says Muhammad, last 30 Muhammad, days. Muhammad is the last in a chain of prophets sent What's that, sir? Wikipedia? 33-40. Wikipedia. How many of you think no, 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 hold on, sir. Quran is Wikipedia. No, 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 no. Go to 3340 and you will read it. All right. Thank you. Oh, the the proof. You got the answer. The gentleman thinks 33. Ask a question, you got an answer. Go for it. I'm responding. Well, I'm responding. Answer, man. The gentleman. Wikipedia. I'm responding. No, before you laugh. Before you laugh. Whatever, whenever I want. Before you laugh, learn to understand when an argument is complete. Ah. The one who doesn't even know if well, an argument is complete well, or not well, I'm, I'm, is a brainwashed engineer, person. Engineer, happy with I'll himself. Learn, learn, Just learn, because learn, he learn, threw learn, a few learn, things, learn, he's happy. Learn, he thinks if I go to Surah 33, no, Ayah 40, no he can establish no that there was only one. Bravo, not carefully. You understood the question you now. The Let me go to 33, for verse Lord, 40. Nothing. Zero. Just rice is here. Chapter 33, verse 40. Let us see. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but the messenger of Allah and the seal of all the uh, seal of the prophets. And Allah knows all things. I can see him already say Alhamdulillah and so on. Are you happy with this verse? Does this verse say all of the Quran speaks about only one guy? Does it say that to any degree of imagination? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Does this verse say? That there is only one messenger associated with the Quran, the entirety of the Quran. Does it say that? It doesn't. Now the gentleman can think, and he uh, he has answered precisely, sticking to facts. It does not. But the gentleman who gave this as an answer has run away now, or maybe he's taking care of his kids. I don't want to accuse him because I think he has his kids at the park. But not carefully. You were about to say Alhamdulillah earlier. Okay. <laughs> it was a joke. How can you use Surah 33, Ayah 40 to establish that there is only one last prophet associated with all of the Quran? How can you do it? Please come here, clarify. Your, your disapproving of this and that does not help. Logic is what matters. My dear friend, you seem to be an intelligent block. As you can see, I'm asking precise questions and all these fellows do not have an answer. I invite you to leave Islam. I can listen to him in a minute. I invite you. I will raise many more challenges. Please wait, watch and find out that none of these comedians can ever answer the challenges in a satisfactory manner they will quote of us run away that's what they would do like how sandawa did earlier you saw sandawa run away earlier to you sir if you see if i if me if i raise a few more such challenges and none of these comedians can answer i invite you to leave islam and come to being a christian we are dealing with life and death you are liar. I am Messiah. When you die, you are liar. when you I die, I would like you to be in heaven as much as you would like also. But I can honestly say, studying the Quran, Islam that you follow is not going to help you. The Quran even does not agree with the Islam that Muslims follow today. So, the previous... Jesus Christ, very good. So the lady is at least listening. Unlike this comedian here, the lady is listening, and she makes. You liar! I am Messiah. Only Jesus. But before that, but before that, I want you to be. Before that, I want you to be confident that this Quran is a waste of time and space in regards to. What do you mean, no? I'm asking challenges. No one can answer. Then, okay, please. Did you listen to my previous question? Using the Quran, can you establish that there was only one last prophet? He read the verse to you, so that's the answer. Okay, but did you understand my question? 
to establish that there is only one last prophet who contributed to the entirety of the Quran that you hold today. That is what I want. 3340 does not talk about that. What is it? 33. What does it say? What does it say? Ask him what it says. Ask him what it says. Ask him what well, it says. Read the verse. Read the verse. Let's read the verse again and I'll give you a thesis. A suggestion. No, no, no. See if my thesis is also true with this statement. No, no. It says Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets. And Allah knows all things. That's this is all that it says. Yeah, it? So but if I God knows all things, so we should not debate them. So you agree I am I am I am presenting the challenge. Please engage with the challenge. Yes, if I were to present a, a suggestion, yes, suggest for instance, if I were to tell you that there were multiple guys, multiple, various times, various different places across the Arabian Peninsula, who claimed to be prophets, multiple guys, and let's say all of them contributed bits and pieces to this. No, they didn't. Okay. Even in that case, even in that, even in that case, this verse would have still meant something meaningful to the ones who are reading that verse do you understand what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying and so do you understand what i'm saying in other words one second in other words using that verse no one can establish there was only one guy contributing to the entire book no one can not using that verse you have to find something else and my challenge is there is nothing else quran is supposed to be early literature in islam the hadiths, the seerah, all of them come 200 odd years later, at the least, at the least, 200 odd years later. Early literature cannot justify your Islamic beliefs at all by any stretch of imagination. As a matter of fact, early literature very clearly contradicts with hadiths, seerah, over and over again. I'm doing my... I'm doing my survey of literature. I can confidently assert, through God's grace, I'm planning to write a book. What's that? Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. I, He's saying that this Quran is like 200 years after the Prophet. It, is that what I said? They've got, is that what I said? That is what you said. They've got it in Birmingham. Yeah? They've got a, a, a fragment of a Quran, yeah, in Birmingham that dates to the lifetime. Did you? Yeah? So we're... So explain that. Explain like I that. told you earlier, explain his name, that. his name it's at the park, dating, yeah? his name at the park is Chief Comedian. Ah, if you had noted what I said earlier carefully, if I stop lying, if I stop lying, if I one second. Facts or whatever, like whatever your proposition is. If you attack someone, that is fallacy of ad hominem. You are attacking someone, like diverting it, and you are putting in someone's character. We need to talk based on what your proposition is. Ad hominem. This person is stupid. Ad hominem. You can't even spell. Ad hominem. You can't even spell. Ad hominem is only when I use that comment to make my point, which is not my point. That was a that was a slight of hand comment just to let you know okay you can watch my video carefully you can go back to your own memory peruse your own memory you could never fight I never said I never said I never said the Quran is 200 years later never said that I said Quran watch is early literature. Yeah, watch the, video. the hadiths and the seera come 200 odd years later that's what I said not What's the Quran. The okay. Quran is early literature. In other words, that is precisely my, ch my challenge. Don't depend on late lit literature, namely Sirah and the Hadiths, to construct a case for Muhammad because they are late literature. You should use early literature, namely the Quran. Using the Quran, using the Quran, can you understand the history of Muhammad?